Great. Thank you, Bill and Alex. Thank you for your comments earlier. And thank you, Catalyst, and to all of my friends and colleagues who have joined me here this evening, some of whom have traveled some distance. Um, and to my special date this evening, my daughter, Katie. And I was so pleased that Alex uh, made some final comments relative to the importance of being uh, a parent and, uh, and raising good kids because certainly my best job in the world is being mom to the two uh, girls that I've raised. It is an honor uh, to receive this award and to be among so many distinguished uh, recipients uh, that are recognized tonight as diversity champions. I, I spent this past weekend traveling down to the United States to attend a high school reunion. Now I won't reveal to you which year it was, <laughs> but suffice it to say I haven't seen a lot of those people in decades. <laughs> and thankfully Facebook has kept me connected to some of my closest friends so that we could actually recognize each other when we were in the room. Attending the reunion reminded me of the somewhat overused, but I still find very appropriate phrase, that it is the journey that's most important and not the destination. And as I was connecting with uh, past friends, learning about how their lives had progressed, how their children's lives had progressed, and yes, how some of their grandchildren's lives had progressed, and we talked about our respective careers, and yes, we talked about some retirement planning that they were all engaged in, and sadly maybe remembered a few uh, of our friends that we've lost along the way. It gave me a, a really wonderful opportunity to reflect on the good fortune that I have had in my life and the path that I have taken. I've spent my entire career at one company, Chubb has taken me and my family to a number of really great places and in a lot of varied assignments. And I have thoroughly enjoyed my last 10 years here in Canada as a Chubb CEO and uh, president. The company that I work for has a very strong culture and we're often recognized within our industry for producing some of the best talent. I attribute a lot of this to being very successful as early adopters of workplace inclusion. And we took seriously the recruiting and the development and the promoting of a diverse workforce. I'm also of the generation, if you haven't figured that out yet, that still had my colleagues, both men and women, betting in an office pool about my return to work after the birth of my first child. I was also at the time working for a company and a corporate male executive who took the bet on me and promoted me to be one of a handful of then uh, female AVPs in the company just three weeks before that daughter was born. Not unusual today, but 28 years ago, and Katie, that's not you, just so everybody <laughs> It's your older sister. <clears throat> that, that was a bit unusual to take that sort of bet. That executive had a reputation for being results oriented, innovative, and a tough boss. His leadership helped change the landscape of our company, and he appreciated that to be the most successful he could be and to have his business units be successful, he needed to have the best talent available. And that included, obviously, women and visible minorities. So I was uh, very fortunate early on in my career to have true sponsorship. I subsequently had a number of role models equally as important uh, that uh, were both in the organization and outside in the business communities in which I would have been serving that really helped to teach me the value of being a diversity champion. And as we all know, it's not just the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do. 
Chubb prides itself on being a top Canadian employer, and being honoured here tonight is a validation of the hard work that it takes to maintain that reputation. It acknowledges our leadership team in Canada and, frankly, globally, for the commitment we have in providing the right environment for our staff to have outstanding careers so that it can be both about the journey and the destination. Thank you.